Yo, I'm off of mute. Your bitch is cute. The ass, I'm a two. The asthma? The ass, I'm a two. Uh, I'm gonna hit her so good, I'm gonna make her coochie poo. Okay, <laughs> all right. Don't ask me now. Yeah, don't don't ask me now. All right. All right. What's that? Yo, I'm the monk. Hey, keep this, nigga. Keep this. I always knew it was just something special about this, this group of guys right here, man. Brother, Brother Guys Podcast. What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Jay Manley of the Brother Guys Podcast. That's not as important. Man, I got two Twitters down, Fire Fist Sakes and Mac and Poe. The Brother Guys Podcast. We have T Rose on the board. Three T Rose and three O's. The Brother Guys Podcast. One on one, hundred and one of them things. One of them know, things. You know, when you, you, know you, you, you think about it, man, like only the greatest ever, like, you know, get to like special, like. I was trying to wait to get to the point. What you talking about? I, I wasn't. I was. I was trying to get like in my fake deep bag, but then like I, I felt the room start like looking like I'm just here. here this here go again. No, I was waiting for it. I was honestly on the edge of my seat. I was like, what's he got to say? I was being quiet with my shit too. I, Cause I said something about we are one on one in the Dalmatians and all that. We are back with <laughs> episode one hundred and one. This is the Brother Guys podcast. Uh, I'm your host Jay Manley. Malcolm to Malcolm. Woo! Uh, that Cabernet yeah. Seven and Nine got me loose. It hit you? Yeah. Uh, I got Malcolm is important to the right of me. I got T Rose on the boards. What's up? Cabernet Sauvignon. How do, how do we say this? Cabernet Sauvignon. It's, I don't know what, I don't know how to say it, but I know that it's, it's like. Sauvignon. It's so, like. No, no, I shouldn't be adding, I shouldn't be adding the Sauvignon and the nine. No, you're no, a lot no. of extra syllables. Can you no. read it? But Earlier, you, that bro, nigga said Sauvignon, y'all. Bro, when you read <laughs> it. Sauvignon, nigga, no. <laughs> you read it, it says Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Chaperon. Cabernet Sauvignon. 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 Savinon. 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 Bro, pronouncing it, it says Savig. No. No. Savig. No. I feel like the G is silent or the G is supposed to like roll. Savignon. It's supposed to be like this. It's like with a yin. Savignon. So you don't roll the G? I think you like make the G. Savignon. 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 You can't roll no G, can you? You can't. Y'all niggas just, yeah, y'all niggas just wild. Nigga, you got me. All right. Um, (laughs) Happy 2021. Oh, TM 101. Come on now. Happy, oh, shit. Come on. Happy 2021. New Year, everybody. Uh, This year has started off on some fraud shit. Uh, I don't know where we want to go first. I do want to say, uh, rest in peace to Jeff Harmon. Rest in peace, Kenny Betts. Uh, love and light to their families. Um, rest in peace, Hank Aaron. Rest in peace, MF Doom. Uh, rest in peace to Shabadoo from Breaking. This is some, y'all classify this as some old nigga shit. But if you've seen Breaking, then Shabadoo? The, the light skin nigga that was dancing in Breaking. Gotcha. Yeah. Got With the mustache. Yep. He passed? He passed away. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, shit. It was like around like, I can't remember the exact date. I want to say it was like around like Christmas, New Year's though. Like that, them, them range of dates. Damn. Um, Rest in peace. Who else passed away? Uh, um, Tiny Lister. Better known as Debo. Peace, yeah. Rest in peace Debo. For sure. Say. Yeah. Uh, anybody Larry else? Larry King. Who? Larry King. Larry King. Larry King, the legend. Um. Anybody else? And countless others we possibly missed. Cause oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sure we missed someone. I'm what? sure we missed somebody, but yeah. It's anybody that we possibly missed. Rest in peace. You said earlier, um, we hope that we don't have any listeners who have passed. I haven't heard anything personally, but I would hope that. Are you pointing at me? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't yeah. see you. That light's fault. right. Yeah, my fault. Uh, <laughs> Dang, my glasses yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I was like, I thought... I would hope that's not the case. I hope that everybody who's been listening to us from the jump and who picked up on us recently mm-hmm. is still here with us enjoying and getting these laughs off with us for sure. Yeah. Um, how, 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 how are you guys doing bringing in this, this year? You know, new year, new vibes, new y'all. Uh, yes. Is new, that what the kids say? New me, new me for sure. <laughs> um, New vibes, I hope you're not, so. You're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not like that black woman on the steps? Yeah, I'm, I'm, the I'm stepping up. I'm stepping up. <laughs> what do you leave behind? But like, you know, I was, you... I was about to say my leave behind section, <laughs> it's, it's raunchy. I can't even get into it, honestly. Damn. I'll leave behind we should have all thought raunchy. about what we were leaving behind in 2020. Oh, so. I've been thinking about what it. What have been a topic? I mean, I was thinking about it, but to the year switch, it's like. What, am, what is Jalen leaving behind? Yeah, so what do you leave behind? What did you leave behind? Yeah, you know what? Trauma, I shouldn't. I right? should skip. You feel me? Yeah, I should, should skip. You feel me? Skip. That's why I said it too. Because, like, you know what? What you leave I don't, I don't want to talk them. about it though. Yeah, like I said, we, that we left I was... behind. All right. Why? We left behind. That's dead. That's okay. Behind. All right. So yeah. the situation. New, me, new vibes. I hope so. We're not. Yeah, we're not bringing up any names and anything going forward on this platform. But the situation that is being left in 2020. Uh, we smoked gas pack. We don't got to bring up the other name. It was a moment. You feel me? I, bro, I don't know what else to say to that, bro. I had to make a tweet saying that like that shit is being left in 2020 because like people think it's. I understand it's funny, but it's like, like, like I went through that, bro. Like, you niggas wasn't there Mother's Day. Well, yeah, I was. <laughs> How about to say I was? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all was. I'm talking about the niggas who's niggas. I, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving that behind. Um, left it behind. Yeah, I'm trying to be more direct too about things that I want. Mm. Like I'm not letting. Uh, You're not trying to beat around the bush. No more. Yeah, I'm not beating around the bush no more. I'm not being passive aggressive about shit anymore. Gotcha. Um, I'm being go for it, King. Yeah, I'm I'm being more direct this year because it's like you really only got one life, bro. It's eight o'clock. Seven fifty-eight. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. you really only got one life. So yeah, I'm just I'm really trying to be more direct this year. So, yeah, cold mouths don't get fed. You know, you gotta let niggas know what you want and communicate. You do because you, hey, you might have the bridge to your blessing, and you're not even saying nothing. I've realized that that's one of my toxic traits in relationships. I don't know if that's even a toxic trait, but what? Not saying what you want? Yes. Um, like, and, 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 yeah, and I, I I'll formulate some shit, and then I'll just it's a red flag for me. Um, it's just there. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. bad communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So bad communication is still toxic trait. It's a red flag for both for a person that's being involved. But I'm trying to work on that though. Like I've been vocal and like, okay, like you know what, like, mm-hmm. bam, bam, bam. Like this is what I want. This is how I feel about said situation. If you choose to, you know, make me comfortable in a situation and try to change those things, or if we can come to a common ground, then yeah. But if not, then at least I said because you always get more peace when you say. Which mm-hmm. you really, really mean? Because yeah. at least you said it, type shit. If they choose to fuck with it or not, mm-hmm. then it's like it's not really something you can control. You can only control on how you voice how you feel. Mm-hmm. So that's why I always say like you gotta like let it be known how you feel in the situation because then there's no confusion Facts. on anything. Facts. This is like I, mean, I said how I felt about this, so like nothing else is confusing. Like how what would I do? Like things I say, anything like definitely, definitely. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm leaving behind in 2020. T Rose, what do you what do you leave behind? <laughs> you. <laughs> no. Just um, in this ready. Mm. 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 He's the same person. Yep. Damn. You ever realize how long last year was? I was gonna say shit. I was probably like three different niggas. A lot of shit happened last year. <laughs> a lot of shit happened last year, bro. Like, god damn, bro. Like, I really, I sat down and thought about that for a minute. Like, from the moment like I moved into the the crib and shit, and like just everything that took place last year, bro. Yeah, all happened. There was really twelve months last year. Like, <laughs> it was really we like we felt it. Every though. one we felt of the months, we yeah. Felt it. 
And I think like yeah. not being outside made it like worse. Honestly, bro, I I I think I'm crazy. I think I am too, bro. I think I am too. All right. Yeah, I I think I am too. And, Define you know, crazy. And okay. You want to know what's wild? Somebody told me that. Okay, so I don't want to keep on circling back to this, but fuck it. Somebody told me that the way that I handled that situation speaks to how crazy I really am. Was it me when I talked to Super Villain earlier? Not even that, but it made me like when you said that it made me think of that conversation. The way you had, handled, yes, the situation made them. I think we said that on the podcast. Say that you're crazy. <laughs> yes, might be crazy in a different way, but yeah. Eh. How'd you feel about that? I'm about to say, how did yeah, like I felt violated. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I felt violated. Like damn, like like. <laughs> Like what else? Because I don't, I didn't know what else to do in that situation. Yeah, so I was like, but that was really just silent. That's what I was friend. gonna say. That's why I wanted him to find crazy because can't call somebody crazy. But I can see why somebody would think that because it's like, what is up his sleeve? I, I'm a, yeah, he right, he right. Because maybe like, what's what up? Who's but but him. Malcolm, just to go back to what you were saying earlier too, you had said something about me. Uh, being a, uh, operating in a way of a supervillain. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was funny because, like, I do kind of feel that way. Like, when I'm really mad about some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I take it there. It'd be like that, though. But it's yeah. like, it's never, I don't feel like it's ever not been warranted when I've gotten on a, on that. Yes, but, um, yeah. I thought like you were about to go deeper in that. Yeah, but I don't know if I wanted to. Is it about me, or? I mean... Both of the statements, everything go that, ahead. that we just Bro, been talking go, about. Go ahead, fam. No, it's not because it's not just about you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, about okay, all right, <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> um, shit, I don't have anything else to touch on about this topic, honestly. Um, all right, well, then I will go to it then. Fuck it. Okay. So, um, I don't think crazy people ever think their evil plans are war- aren't warranted. <laughs> Damn! You see what I'm saying? That's fucked up. Ain't it? <laughs> that kind of goes into the hero villain aspect. The villain isn't really a villain; he's a hero in his own aspect. Exactly. It just depends on what side you fight yeah, for. Yeah, it just depends on what you're fighting for, what you believe in, what you Shit. think is right. So it's kind of like the the cloud of like your your vision. See, I feel like people only think that that villain shit about me personally is because I do like take it overboard. Mm, and I'm, and I, but I know that I'm taking it overboard, but it's like. I've gave you all this time to like not let me get to this point. Mm-hmm. So like now I'm gonna make sure that you feel me, so this never crosses your mind ever again to have me this fucked up. I see some people will see look at you as like I get it, you the hero, and some say will be like no, that makes you a villain. So it all depends Damn, on how you look so at. I was it. a villain on Halloween. Wait, what you doing Halloween? Nigga, that that was two days like. Yeah, that was holiday weekend. Yeah. All that shit went down. You have no idea. You have Appreciate no idea. that, Malcolm. Hit the, hit the ear horn. He know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> See? That's, that's how you're moving over here. And if you haven't already, cop you a hoodie at thebrotherguyspod.myshopify.com. Go get that. We got stickers available, too. Facts. Facts. And more merch is on the way. I'm going to... Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've kind of like gotten that sense of it. Okay. You know, it's like our eighth take. <laughs> they don't know that. Yeah, but good morning, everybody. You know, oh, you know, we, oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, we so. keep it real with these niggas. They know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> I just got here. Yeah, <laughs> it's eight in the morning. I haven't been here since four o'clock p.m. What? I haven't. I was telling them I haven't been here since four o'clock p.m. Oh, okay. But they wouldn't know that. Yeah, I'm not hungry. I ate today. Yeah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't know that regardless. Now that I shouldn't have said that. Um, what's on the list, man? Uh, <laughs> <Y'all niggas. laughs> pardons, hella pardons. Oh yeah, hella pardons. About, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the government. God damn it! Because the they've government. been some shit's been shit. So Donald Trump oh, went and pardoned Donald J. Trump. Don't forget the Donald. J. Trump. 
Was it Joseph? Jake? 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 I don't know. It's Jay. Donald J. Trump uh-huh. went. I'm going to start talking about that. Donald Trump went <laughs> and uh, he pardoned Kodak Black. He didn't pardon R. Kelly. Uh, <laughs> was that on the list? He right. Fake, was that nigga on the he list? He fake pardoned Joe Exotic and Joe Exotic made a statement. Uh, he he uh, pardoned Will Wayne. Little Louisiana. <clears throat> the boot nigga still too. Um, who else did he pardon? That's... I didn't know he pardoned more than just them two niggas to be a thousand with you. Yeah, okay. that's the only news that I got on my radar. Yeah, maybe he pardoned some white people, but I wouldn't know about that. Exactly. I feel like more people were pardoned that we should definitely remember. They were we partying. Pardoned. Partisan. Yeah. Partition. Didn't he throw Jeffrey under the bus? Jeffrey. Mm-hmm. William. Young thug. No. Jeffrey. Jeffrey who? Who the fuck is? What are you talking about? The the the, the Epstein. Yeah. Him. Okay. Oh, he did. I was asking. Oh, Did no. Trump throw him? Are you talking about like recently? Biden gonna pardon Jeffrey Epstein. Watch. E- Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Man. No, he not. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga knows. Welcome to 2021. That we don't. Welcome to 2020. Fucking one, y'all. <laughs> Wait on it. Hey, <laughs> this nigga knows something. <laughs> Wait on it. Hey, where's Shorty? His his right hand man woman. She duck she and some they ain't got her on. Did she go to watch. jail? Milana? Yeah. No, not Milana. Milana? No, no, I'm not talking about not Trump. 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 Yeah, the, 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 the fucking You know what I'm talking about. His girlfriend, bro, the one that was helping him scout the young Jeffrey scout. got a girlfriend? Yes. She yes. was helping scout the shorties. Yeah. She was helping scout they the They together. Work. I told y'all. Look. No, they no the no the feds got her. Oh yeah, she was booked. Yeah, like she yeah, they had her on high alert, security, uh, oh, suicide watch and shit. About. Yeah, black hair. I don't know, yeah. but look here, look here, jo- Jocelyn. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, her. Yeah, but <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? Yeah, I was about to say that definitely did not come. It out did, black. but I was gonna flow but, with it. Oh, go ahead, bro. <laughs> her daddy named Donald J. Harris. For real? Yeah. Do so you think it's like some weird gay sex thing going on between Donald Trump? Dog and who else? Dog, like, please finish your statement. Don't even finish please. that. No, don't. We don't care. We do not. I'm speaking for the people as well. We don't care, nigga. We do not care. Relax, relax, relax. I don't know why my mom went there. Yeah, why? I don't know That's why I went I there. Know. I don't know why I went there. Okay. I don't know why I went there. So I don't even know what to say. Jeez, oh man, did y'all, did y'all see right. that voiceover of the inauguration <laughs> on Twitter? Dog. Well, yes. I didn't, friend, I just seen yes. like little shit like on Twitter here and there. I seen the Bernie meme, which is hilarious. Bro, these niggas um, go crazy with that meme. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hear J Lo. What's she, what's she singing? The, the, the American and the Beautiful? What's I seen her there. I don't know. I seen niggas flaming. All, all I did was see that she can't sing, but it's just like, why are y'all just not realizing she can't sing? Speaking of J Lo, did y'all see that challenge she trying to start? J Lo tried to start a challenge. Did you yeah, see Jenny it? from the Block, I think. A Jenny from the Block challenge. Yeah. But what? it's like, how'd that even go? Did you see the challenge? No, that, that, she no, that, she tried to start it today. That ain't how. Today. That ain't how. <laughs> that's not how challenges that's not start. It's that's not what it's called. It's not that. No, that's not what it's called. It's not Jenny from the block. Nah. What is it? It's called something else. Just one second. I'm about to. One, one, what's one of one of J Lo's lead singles? It's a challenge like that. But my thing is like any any time there's been a challenge, it's never been like the person who the challenge was about that. It's called the, the Love Don't Cost a Thing Challenge. That's even worse, because Jenny from the Black is a better song. Look at look at the challenge. Look, we gotta watch it real quick. Nigga, what the fuck? That's the challenge. So you have to like tease? Yeah, like somebody needs to let these older acts know that you can't create your own challenge. You can't create your Yeah. Who else said that Fab? Fab was did try to do his own challenge and it didn't did? translate. Yeah. What the fuck that, you do? Hey, we need it was a song. Pops. He tried to he, he tried to he tried to get like a song like popping, so he tried to get a challenge going for it, like with the dance. You remember shit. it? He tried to get I don't remember the song. He tried to get Shiggy to dance to it too. Oh, that's where that came from with the yeah. story about him trying to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, but it was like when whenever it's niggas like try to force it like that, it you never know, works like, out how it's supposed to. It never works out how it's supposed to. Yeah, I mean the point of the challenge is because because it's built organically. If you ask me, yeah. Hell, even the fucking in my feelings shit that wasn't supposed to be a challenge song. Yeah, he said that was bullshit. Yeah, 
It, well, not bullshitting, but like that wasn't initially a, a like Drake didn't go in there making that song for challenges though. This is my point. You know what I'm saying? I like he did that Tussie slide shit. Yeah. That was that. Yeah, and that even still kind of took off a little bit. Just because of who I mean, Drake is. I'm about to say, that's because of who he is and that nigga is. Yeah. <sighs> Whew. Which but, is wild to say, but. Yeah, nobody's doing the fucking Love Don't Cost a Thing challenge. I don't, I don't know who. <laughs> I don't even. I didn't get that. It looked like a commercial. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez can't sing. <laughs> you want to talk about that? Speaking of, you want to hear. Uh, did you watch J Lo's real voice? Ashanti and Keisha Cole? Oh, the versus. versus. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I had Keisha Cole winning, but I did. But yeah, Shanti made me eat my words. And like, it was like, she was very, like, so strategic with it. She thought that shit through. Bro, I do want to say, though, like, who, like, what song was it where she said the fans was hit me to do this one? And like, she played some shit that, like, nobody asked for. Oh, Shanti? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. But don't it pissed know. me off because she said the fans, <laughs> the fans been telling me to do this one. Was it like a. <laughs> Was it? A, it was. Um, it, it was a song that nobody like knows for real. Okay, I just can't remember. I, I'm really shit. I don't remember. What about the OT Genesis? I actually, it was funny, but yeah. I was gonna say, did didn't Keisha and OT didn't they beef over that for a minute? I don't yeah. know about beef. Okay, I know. Really I, feel like I, I feel like I wasn't tripping about that. I, oh, I, Cause did we talk about it on the podcast? I'm not, I'm they not got sure into we it on the podcast, but they got into it over something. No, I'm saying, didn't we talk about that on this podcast? <clears throat> I'm not sure if we did talk about it, but I know they did. Talk, they don't. I know they did get. That was a situation. Like yeah. she was mad. Felt like he was being trying to be funny. Yeah, they was mad over something. Yeah. Hmm. Like Keisha Cole seemed was mad at OT Genesis for doing that. I'm not exactly sure. I just I'm not exactly sure the specifics. I just remember that being a thing. Them okay. Having a, them having a rift. Well, I'm glad it's not a rift anymore. Them having a rift, if you will. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad it's not a rift anymore. I'm glad that it's that. It was. I thought it was funny. Ashanti looked confused though, so that aspect was pretty funny to me too. Because you could tell, like, it was just not that was communicated that that was going to happen. Mm-hmm. That shit was funny though. And I kind of, I was watching it too. It, it felt like Keisha knew she was going to lose. Mm, you think that's why she wasn't like singing at all? Not even that, bro. I just feel like, bro, when you really sit down, and I don't know, like I, said, I don't know why I didn't see this before, bro. But Ashanti's back is deep. What? Yeah, her bag. her bag is deep, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't think that. I didn't think she had enough like murder ink hits and like single hits to no. put them around like the way she put them around. Like she it was very did. strategic. I was gonna say she was. It's crazy. Like when she dropped around. foolish, bro. That was Uno out for me, bro. Like that. That was when. That was when she Uno won. Out yeah, that me. was when she won. <laughs> when she dropped foolish, bro. That's when I started watching the battle. That's funny. Yeah, because at that point it was too much, bro. Yeah, I was highly upset Keisha played that song with Tupac three times. What? For, for what? She played the song with Tupac three times? Bro, she ran that shit back three times. Because Pac was on it? I don't know why she ran it I've back. never heard the Ashanti Pac's Life song before. before Ashanti it. and Pac? Yeah, Pac's Life. They got a song together? Well, I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's uh, Ashanti and Pac, but Ashanti has a song called Pac's Life. I never knew that was a song. I didn't hey. either. I didn't even, I didn't know that. That's okay. not strange. That's, <laughs> well, it, I think it's one of those ones that it was like done for like a, probably like a Tupac movie or some shit. Or mm. like a documentary. Gotcha. Like one of the, like we were having a conversation earlier about how like soundtracks was a, was a big thing back in the day. Yeah. Mm. Like that was probably like one of the soundtrack cuts. For like one of those documentary Tupac yeah, movie yeah, 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 yeah. Resurrection. No Probably was on the Resurrection soundtrack. <laughs> but, but, um, man, we were talking earlier. What? You, you ain't. You said you ain't. You've seen bits and pieces of Killer Season, but you heard the album though. Yeah, I didn't know that that was a that was a a, a movie. Yeah, like, it's on YouTube. I didn't know that that was a whole movie. If you haven't seen Killer Season, please check that out. Speaking of, how you gonna get fresh? You said what? Go ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Speaking of artists, movie, independent movies, you seen Conflicted? No, we were I talking about that earlier. We need to also. watch that. I'm definitely going to check it out so we can talk about it next time. Definitely. Next time we pop. Yeah, up. we got to talk about that shit next week. Mm, yep. For sure. I must say, I, want, I need to see that. What what service is it all? Like, it's like, uh, isn't you it have them? You I think they have like a link. Streaming. Yeah, yeah. And you can like watch it on streaming shits. I wonder how you get that. That's how they got it set up. That's dope. That's dope. 
Yeah, I'm gonna show you on my Xbox. And then you got, you got, yeah, you get the little access code, pay for your little ticket. It's only like 10 bucks, too. Yeah, which ain't bad. You know, yeah, that's not like bad, going for the movies. For I'm gonna damn near stop me some popcorn after this and watch that shit. Let me see, give me some popcorn. You, you, got a bag you, popcorn. you eat popcorn for real? I do. You don't really. I try not I to. Have you have pizza. Okay. Yeah, I I eat it, but like I try not to though because I hate when the kernels get stuck in my teeth. That's the only problem. It's like a really, like it's problem. really, really annoying. But I do love popcorn though. I fuck with caramel corn. That's really good. I like the cherry caramel one. Mm. The cherry cheddar. Every time nigga go to school, oh, gotta get the, the cheddar garrets. Cool. Yeah. Gotta get the carrots every time. Niggas know you know. Carrots is cool, I guess. Carrots is lit. Just playing. I'm at Chicago. Um, niggas trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, um, Jerry Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God, a Fear of God is now the creative director for Adidas basketball. This is pretty old, I know, I know, but it's something that we I feel like we should talk about. Um, first off, I wasn't even aware that he was leaving Nike or was going from Nike. I wasn't either. Like when I saw that news initially, he just, he slid out real quiet. Yeah, <laughs> and I I wonder if this speaks to like. How can how Kanye was talking about how Nike didn't really get doesn't really unless you're like an athlete. That's kind of what I was getting at with the with the Master P shit. How we was talking trying about to Reebok. shop with Adidas. I mean, trying to get Reebok. We can get into that. Okay, all right, yeah. my bad, my bad. Um, okay, that makes sense. Um, but no, that made me wonder. Like with him leaving, like does that speak more to what Kanye was trying to set, tell us about Nike initially? Um. You would think that they wouldn't still be on that, though. Because I feel like they regret letting Kanye go. To Nike? Yes. I'm sure they do now. At this point, yeah, but not to the point where they But gonna... That's what I'm saying. I feel like that would be a learning experience to where it's like, okay, like if I'm Nike and I lose Kanye, I'm not letting fucking Jerry Lorenzo go, too. And then you got to They think... don't look at Lorenzo as Kanye, though. You never fucking know, bro. You right, but... The fear of guys can't stay in stock. The, the Nikes? I'm not saying that. They can't bad. stay in stock. I'm, not, I'm just I'm just saying as a if I'm the Nike owner and I'm recognizing every time this motherfucker drops his shoe, it's it's not in stock. I'm not letting that nigga go. And that clearly means they didn't learn the first time. That's all that well, means. Well see, they probably still think they, they they got Trevor Scott, so they probably think they can make up for that. Nigga, they got LeBron the James Fam. for life. Okay, I know I understand that. I'm talking about <laughs> as far as like the pop the pop star bracket. Of, you like, might well consider that nigga one, but I'm, I'm feeling I'm not talking about athletes. I'm talking about just a power star bracket of niggas who are Kanye level. Now we got Travis Scott with his, you know, exclusive Jordans and shit. Mm-hmm. But Kanye had his own fucking actual CU- and silhouette. And Drake got his shit, right? Or Drake he's Jordan? He's Jordan, but I'm saying, like, Kanye had his own shoe, that's though. Nike. He had his own shoe. Like, that's yeah, different yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, Kanye had a shoe. Yeah, like it's different to make like the Yeezys. <laughs> okay, like okay, I'm Drake and I have my own version of the Jordan Eight or my own version of the yes, Sevens. You're right, you're right. But I don't have my own Drake shoe. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't have the Drakes. So yeah, so it's like, Man, and you know, that was Nike's first time doing it. But literally. I was saying it's kind of like how Drake was also trying to not fuck with them no more and fuck with Adidas. Remember, he had an Adidas line coming out too. He did. So it kind of all speaks to everyone who. Yeah. Or working with Nike, interested end up interested working with Adidas. It's something Nike does. They pick that, and choose. That's what I, want, I want to know what are they? Where, where's the ball being dropped? That's, that's kinda, my question. Yeah. As far as like art, pop why can't culture, you keep art? any pop culture icons and build off of that and, ex, and expound on it? Why are, are they all going to Adidas? That is a very great question. Yeah. That's, that's a really yeah. great question. Actually. That's 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 my question. And then again, like I said, I know that this is an old topic. But it's something, um, that, yeah, but it's something that I just really was curious about. And I don't think we touched on. You know, it's been a minute since we last. Well, I don't know if we touched on it. Yeah, um, it's been a minute. And we can talk about this too. The uh, the Master, Master P and Baron Davis are trying to buy Reebok uh, from Adidas. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. They've been talking about that since like mid December. Oh fuck, P Miller shawties. I got to tell that again. Oh, oh please tell these <laughs> niggas about the P Miller shawties, dog. Okay, so time out, time out. So just to. Break it down for y'all, man. Um, Master P, for those who aren't aware, uh, had a clothing line out called P. Miller Clothing. Uh, around the time, a bunch of rappers had uh, their own clothing lines and shoes out and shit like that. Like, it was yeah. like... It was crazy. It was, it was, crazy yeah, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. Like, streetwear was yeah, in a different place. Bow Wow had his own brand called Shago. Yeah, I, I had a shirt. 
Oh, what? Like, Shago. I like I had, Shago? I feel like I've seen some of that clothing. Shago? Like, in person. Like, like is it a... Shot like shot. It's like a it's like a weird S yeah S A G O. It's like a weird like S logo. It's S H A G O. Yeah, Shago. What the fuck that mean, bro? I don't I don't know. I had a shirt though. Mm, mm, mm. Continue, bro. Um. So yeah, so that's just to break down on that. Yeah, Master P and Baron Davis are trying to buy uh Reebok, but just to expound on. The P. Miller situation. So, I had on this P. Miller shirt, and now I can remember, bro, it's, it was a mesh red and blue shirt, like a soccer jersey, almost kind of, like half, like half colored, and it had like a little crescent, and on the crescent, it said P. Miller Shouties. Like a team, like. <laughs> that was the emblem. It was, it, I thought it was like. Like a basketball thing. This so, nigga had a crescent. Yeah, so it was like it was like one of those like active shirts. Um so <laughs> the story is I'm over my nigga PJ's house and we go over uh it's one of our homeboys Peyton's house. It's funnier. All these niggas and niggas start with P. We're going to uh we're going to play basketball. And we're at Peyton's house playing basketball and shit. And then Peyton's dad comes outside and he's talking to us. And then he looks at my shirt. And he says, let me remind you guys, Peyton is white, has white pants as well. <laughs> uh, with the, uh, with, with Peyton, uh, Peyton's dad comes outside and he sees my shirt and he's looking at it. He's like, Jalen, can I ask you a question? And I'm looking kind of confused. I'm like, yeah, sure. He says, Jalen, what's a shawty? And I'm, I'm looking confused. I'm like, uh, like, sir, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Your, your shirt, it says P. Miller Shouties. What, what, what is a shouty? And then me and PJ are just trying to explain to him, like, it's just, I mean, he's like homies, like group of friends, whatever, just trying to get off the topic because it, it's coming off really, really racist. Like, the way he's asking me, like, what is a shouty? Like, fam, why do you care? He was curious. Well, but why, though? <laughs> why? I don't know, baby. Yeah, I don't know. I can't vouch for it. So, like, ever since then, I've, like, yeah, bro. Like, it was a big deal, bro. Like, people felt really, like, it came off really racist. So, that's, like, that's kind yeah. Of funny. But that's just my funny story, like, attached to, like, uh, Master P trying to get back into, like, athletic wear and stuff. Because it's like, what if he tries to bring back, like, a P. Miller and Reebok collab? P. Miller shawties. Like, because, like, nobody's asking for P. Miller gear to come back. The shawty fours? <laughs> Nobody's asking for P. Miller gear to come back. I kind of am. You got a P. Miller shirt too? <laughs> no, but I'm asking for it to come back. Fuck it, why not? I don't mind it coming back, bro. I just like we one day we gotta really sit back and break down how like how nasty the clothes were in there, bro. Man, there was there's like been some, there's yes, been a bro. lot of nasty eras, but the nastiest is the era we're speaking about right now. Yes, two thousands was nasty. Fashion? Yes, give me suits and bell bottoms and shit over it over Nigga, all that, bro. <laughs> Nigga, name belts. Oh my god, we was wild. Nigga, with the digital then. ones. Nigga, rubber bands around the ankle so your fucking jeans things. don't bleed on your fresh forces. Uh, that was the worst. That was that was that was, that was lucrative. <laughs> that was lucrative. It was lucrative, but it was a horrible. Look stupid. It, yeah, rosaries, it, Jabros, rosaries, <laughs> Jabros. <laughs> Jabros ain't that bad. The tall tees, tall tees were terrible. Nigga, the I had a rosary, and I am not a lick of Catholic. Mm, bro, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Nigga, that was, like ninety percent of niggas <laughs> I seen with rosaries were not Catholic. They I didn't even know how to spell that was ca- Catholicism. Them niggas, right? Them niggas <laughs> had no kind of Catholicism in them. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Hey, I had a rosary. I had one rosary, bro. I feel like I was that nigga too, and I wore that shit. You and every other Why? nigga that did, bro. I, like the, the color scheme on it was okay. like, bro. Like I had like a nice little like color scheme on it, and it's like it was different colors. Fam, the fucked up thing, bro. I feel like that shit actually means something. Like the different if, colors. Yeah, something like that actually means something. I'm I'm just trying to get fly. I'm weak. I wonder if it does. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure they. I'm pretty sure they have. They they mean some shit, but. I don't know. I was I was worried about trying to get fly, and it yeah, like and thinking back on it, it was stupid as fuck. I shouldn't have had there that you. shit on. The fucking shutter shades. Oh man, I had a pair too. <laughs> what? I had a pair of shutter shades. Wait, you got a picture? 
I, I do know not you have, got a I don't have a picture. I didn't take a picture. I was too embarrassed to take a picture. Oh my god, you were too. But I had them. Wait, like, why did you have them if you were embarrassed? I bought like I bought the glasses and like it was one of those things where like once I got home, I felt stupid as fuck. <laughs> Because, like, yeah, I just, like, I couldn't see. I was like, this is literally just a prop. You couldn't the skinny see. skinny jeans. I remember my first time having a pair of skinny jeans on, bro. You had skinny jeans? Uh, bro. I can't picture Jalen with skinny jeans. All right, fam, no. It was uh, the Famous Stars and Straps era. Oh, I had a Famous God. Stars and Straps, tight-ass shirt. It was and tight. I had, so. yeah, it was tight. It was, like, a tight, like, long sleeve. Um, I looked like an emo kid, like, when I put that outfit on. I had it. <laughs> I had a yeah, so I had a tight ass famous stars and strap shirt. I had, I had some jeans? tight ass black jeans, like and I had some all black skate highs. Yes, yeah, you definitely. Yeah, y'all look like an emo kid, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But I thought it was fresh as fuck though, because because niggas didn't because a lot of niggas ain't had the all black vans at Pike yet. And you had so I, and I had them, so I thought it was fresh in the bitch. Wait, you wore the outfit to high school? Yes, nigga, that was the. That was their era. That was when Vans by the Pack was out. Yeah, so that's what I was in school. <laughs> I, I, it didn't come out in 2011. Oh, shit. My bad. Vans by the Pack came out like, oh, I'm thinking eight. about our... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 I, Damn I was, you old. 07, 08. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was freshman was year for me. Grade, Nigga said shit. That was freshman year for me. I was in the fifth grade in 08. Yeah, I was trying to get my dick sucked in the movie theater in 08. Okay. But I was in the fifth grade. <laughs> Jesus. I was a freshman. Jeez, what the fuck? I guess uh, me too. Why are you so hypersexual? <laughs> great. Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh um, my gosh. Oh man. But yeah, my, no, I, 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 I do. Too early. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's a tender age right here, pussy monster. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, I, I do hope that Master P and Baron Davis Zoo get uh, get Reebok though. That would be. Something yeah, cool. I didn't and know uh, I forgot. This is just off some like sneakerhead shit that I remember. What? Baron Davis was signed to Reebok at one point in time. This oh, so true. he probably has relations yeah. there to help. Him. So that would be dope. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they ended like on good terms. I'm pretty sure they probably did. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they probably did. So that I feel like that would be he would have uh, insight as far as like them getting with uh, artists who are popping. Not artists, but uh, athletes who are pop, who are popping. Artists too, though. Mm-hmm. Um, and kind of get them back to that high notoriety that they had like in the 90s and like early, mid-2000s type shit. So I, I, I hope they get it. I, I see a lot of good things coming from them purchasing Reebok. That question, like that shit is still lingering about why the fuck, why, why do pop icons keep running from Nike to Adidas? Or just leaving Nike in general? Something to be talked about. Yeah. Um, that shit's crazy. Did we talk about Certified Lover Boy being delayed already? I don't think no. we did. I don't think okay. we touched on that. But you um, know. Drake is getting his body done currently. He's recovering from getting his body done and his ACL being torn. So, uh, therefore, we won't be getting Certified Lover Boy in January. And I'm kind of pissed because I was looking forward to <laughs> being upset and being sad about nothing. You listening to it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's based off the snippets that I've heard. Like, he has one song on there where the chorus is literally, you should come through and get your back broke. Like how, it's, say, how does he sing it though? You should come through and get your yeah. back, bro. Like uh, the flow is dope. Uh, you heard it? Yeah. Yeah. T- yeah. I, this is the same. How have room. I not heard this album? Everybody else heard it. You walked into the room when what I was in song? the room and everything, and I told you about it, but you was on the phone or something. So like, oh, yeah, I probably didn't care. Yeah. It, but it's on some like late night like driving type shit. Like that's my vibe. Like the late night, like you know, mm-hmm. like I know that you miss that's me, even, even though we're not talking. Heard. What I heard, it was awesome. Like, I know that you miss me, even though we're not talking. You should really call me, because I know you would love for me to come put this in you and change your life. Is that what you got from it, or is that what... That's what I heard when I... Yeah. Okay. All right. That's where my mind went when I heard that. Okay. When I put myself in the situation. Gotcha. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So it was like a Marvin's Room type of thing. Kinda, but like reverse. Like he's being, like he's not being a bitch ass nigga. He's getting his bitch back. Ooh, type shit. Okay. Yeah. So this is what, okay, that's why he's certified. Yeah, it's Marvel's room. He wasn't really certified. It makes yet. sense. Now he's a certified yeah, little boy. He's certified little boy. Yeah. Okay, I think I get it. I think I might be fucking with it. But I, like I said, y'all, this is gonna be the first, I mean, this is gonna be the first Drake album in a minute I'm rushing to. 
So as soon as it drop, I'm going to download it. I'm going to listen to it. He's got to drop it on Valentine's Day, or at least like the the weekend of Valentine's Day. He's got to. I'm going to come back to the people. I mean, I think that might be good as far as like, like, he might be able to have a good marketing scheme with that. Yeah, that's the only, that's the only way I feel like this is going to work. Like, especially with the name of the album. He going to be Cupid? Oh my gosh, please no. Come on, bro. I don't need him being Cupid. Whatever you do. Is Drake not going to be Cupid? No. I don't need him being Cupid. Yeah, we don't need that. But what if he already is? And what if that's his plan? Y'all think it's going to be, it's still going to hit? Definitely not. (laughs) Definitely not, bro. Cool. Um, you not with it, T Rose? No. no. Can't make that angry Cupid. But anyway. Oh shit! We definitely need to talk about this. The uh, What's up? the the black owned streaming platform that Meek Mill, Lil what? Dirk, Twenty One Savage, and uh, Lil Baby are looking to invest in. Uh them niggas is talking. Yeah, I know this is pretty much old news too. But I feel like that's pretty dope. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, they're they're look they uh they all sent out tweets basically saying that they're they're, they're looking out uh, for the niggas in Silicon Valley so they can get an app going for uh streaming I did service. See that. I did see that actually. Yeah. I did. I forgot all about that. And I'm 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 liking that. Like I'm liking that. Too. that. That's real. I looked I love the innovation. Yeah. But um so Okay, that's kind of like the same shit that nigga Kyrie was talking about trying to start our own league and shit. Basically, same, same, same type of shit. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And how do y'all feel about that shift? Like, what do y'all see for that? Like, what do y'all see in the future with everybody doing shit like this? Starting their own shit. Yeah, it's gonna really start showing like where the talent really lies. At honestly, that's a that's a part of it. Yeah. Um, with that, of course, and I hate to. St- be the bear of bad news, but with that, of course, it's going to bear some kind of, like, bad blood involved. Because with everybody starting their own shit, that's when true colors show. And competitiveness is a very true color that can get ugly real quick. So, I hate to say it like that, but it would be, it's great that everybody, you know, is becoming independent more so as to get rid of the, the, them, they. Mm-hmm. So let's just leave it at that. But, you know, when we get our own power, niggas don't, niggas ain't gonna really know what to do with that off rip. It's gonna take some practice and some time. And with practice and time comes trials and tribulations. Got you. So. It's gonna take a while for people to adapt and get used to, yeah. used to more systems like that being around. Mm hmm. It's gonna, it's just literally a, not in a negative connotation, but it's going to be a whole new world order type shit. I wonder I wonder how much the pushback is going to be from existing. There's going to be a lot of oversaturation. Like, everybody's going to have that weird itch to try to do their own shit, but only to try and grow and survive. And then, well, I feel I, like people are going to have to... I feel like that is where people are going to have to realize where their strengths really lie. Facts. Because it's like, there's gonna you're going to have the people who are going to try to do something and it's not going to work mm-hmm. and they got to try to do something else and they got to try to do something else like to really it's, only, it's only a lot of bouncing around but it's like yeah mm-hmm. that's really what I'm trying to say when you get when time passes and you start seeing like everybody else who's still left versus niggas who started it and then stopped mm-hmm. like that's when you see like what the fuck is really really up type shit so I don't know I don't know I, I am excited to see this music streaming service start up though or you know see something come of it um, is title still black owned? Oh, I think he might have sold his share. It's probably dead. Yeah, I think he might have sold his share. I can't really remember though. Um, who sold a share of title? We're not. We're not sure. I'm not sure. Asking, title's I don't know. Owned. Yeah. What the fuck? I think it is though. What the fuck? I get... Yeah, I think what? it is. I went the title for you, ho. What the hell? Shit, I feel like we had some like funny shit to talk about as far as like um relationship wise. Relationship stuff wise. like that, yeah. I don't think we even touched anything relationship. No, me and Malcolm were talking about something earlier and I can't remember exactly what it was. Mm. Relationship wise? Yes. It was funny as fuck. Oh man. Damn, I can't remember. I can't remember what it was neither. It was funny though. Relationship wise? It was funny. Yeah, y'all lost me. It was funny. 
Yeah, no clue. He lost. Oh. Uh oh. This nigga found it. How do you let a young lady know? Like, okay, no, no, no. How do, like, how do you? What's your response when a young lady figures out that she's the hoes or she's the bitches? Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all want me to go first? (laughs) Go ahead. Yes, I've I've never been in that situation. You never been in that situation? I don't think so. No. Okay. All right. Um. Mm. For me, it's always happened like after me and said person were done messing with each other. Mm, so they like, when they, the block, like, yeah, they did the math. Mm. Like, oh, so I'm included in that. Yeah, pretty you much. Said, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like it's like now, like being like older and shit is just like. I don't really do that anymore, but I'm not going to sit back in line and be like, yeah, I haven't done that. Yeah, I've definitely have been in that situation. Um, it is, like, fucked up, but... Honestly, bro, like, dating is just, like, some, like, savage, like, jungle, animalistic-ass shit. So I was like, you can't really go into dating with your heart on your sleeve like that for real anyway, bro. Yeah, that sucks, though. It does suck. It's you trash, because to be the core, to... like, that's it, not even how I'm set up. I don't think anybody's really set up like that to the core, but... You should be able to, honestly. You should be able to wear your heart on your sleeve if you really like a motherfucker and fuck with somebody. Yes, I do agree, but, like, That's my problem. you can't, bro. You can't. I until, like, until, like, some time has passed and you really get to know a motherfucker and, you know, get, and really, really see, like, what they on for real, you can't really do that shit. You can't. You can't you can't do that, bro. So I was thinking. Yeah, fam. Uh yeah, like I I don't feel I don't know, like like even like now, like when I like I was talking to my like my little brother, I was like, fam, like date around, bro. Like I've been told this, but I'm this shit ain't from What dating around ain't for you? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. just having multiple people. I lose interest. Yes, that that's okay. just that's just too much work. It's tiring. I get that point. Yeah. It is tiring. Like for me, like I, I don't think I can really talk to multiple people at one time. Like it is, it's mad tiring. I get tired. Yeah, it's mad tiring. Then, but point, I, I, yeah. I was gonna say I don't believe in like, like I'll give somebody a chance to show me that they like not on bullshit. But once you're on bullshit, then like I kind of like put you off into like I can't take you seriously no more for real. Yeah, you gotta prove it. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, and I and when I say prove it, like you gotta be on my dick. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, that, I, like, that's, that's something I've recognized about myself. That's like, I need my partner to be on my dick. That's understandable. That's for you. That's for you, though. Not see, bad. okay. See, now, is that an issue for me needing that? No. Or is that reassurance? <laughs> um. Okay. All right. If you're trying to cover it with nice, positive blanket words, that is that not a reassurance? Uh, um. <laughs> It is, but I feel like you're really stressing this reassurance thing. <laughs> I feel like you just you just stressing it a little too much. I feel like that's reassurance. <laughs> like define a little bit. Yeah, because you said it. Gotta post you on the Instagram. You said it like be on my dick. No, like, you don't know. You don't. You don't. You, know, like, you don't gotta do that much. But like, just what you mean, man? Con- okay, not constantly, but just like every now and then, like remind me. Constantly, so you want re- you like reassurance? That's what keeps you. That's it gives you a peace of mind to have that we're on the same page, yes. Because yeah. bro, like, film, like motherfuckers flip flop, bro. No, I feel you. So it's like I, I, I kind of need that reassurance just to make sure that like. <laughs> I think everybody likes reassurance. Yeah, like, but you just happen to. And let me I'm, when I say be on my dick, I'm really being funny. I don't need you to really be on my dick, but <laughs> like, right. it, it, it just feels good to know that like when you start fucking with somebody, shit don't change out the blue because. Some behind the scenes bullshit that they're not really letting you know about happened or whatever. Yeah, like, and that—that's that's usually what. Not even, I'm not even speaking for myself. Like usually, that's how shit goes oof, when triggered. people date. I am triggered. That's how it goes. Yeah. It somehow uh, abruptly fucking ends because some somebody was lying about some behind the scenes bullshit. Like yeah. both people weren't completely honest. It'd so like yeah. 
So back to your point um, that you brought up earlier, like that's why it's like that thing with Dayton. Like you gotta go in with that fucking savage fucking attitude. Savage attitude. You do gotta go in with a savage attitude. Not like really. that's not gonna bring nothing fruitful. You don't want to go in. You got to go, go in not being blind to bullshit. You got to go in with yeah, just going on your P's and Q's. Yeah, you so you don't got to be, be savage. You have to be smart. Yeah. yeah. You got to go in smart. You got to go in smart. So ready for anything. Understandable. Sa- savage could kind of be overboard. So that's yeah. my issue. I always take it to the next level. You don't have to go in so menacingly. Yeah. Like you just you go in there and just, you know. Yeah. I don't, say, I don't like to call it like menacing, though. It's just like. Like you said, protecting yourself. But a lot of people like to mask protecting themselves, like hurting other people as protecting themselves. Yeah, facts. Bullies, mm. <clears throat> for example. Yeah, see, that's see. You should just like isolate yourself and work on yourself at that point. If you are at that point, that's not cool. It's not cool at all. You're gonna be like, well, I don't really want anything. And then, like, then, like, don't create a situation. I hate, I hate then hearing don't that. Don't create a situation what? where I you're... don't owe anybody anything. Yeah. I hate hearing that. People like that are weird. I hate hearing that. Because that's fucked up. Like, what do you, like, what? So you just, so you got this motherfucker over here thinking that you like them for real. Mmm, you mean in that sense? Yeah, and then, like, but now that it's something that sh- you don't want to do anymore. You don't owe them anything. As far as like you're that's fucked about if up. They're, if they're if they're already a couple, if they're already a thing. I mean, if you're like leading somebody on, basically, oh, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. yeah, or just like about to lead somebody in the dark with no. Yeah, like no, something. like you're not like there's no honesty about what the situation is. You got them thinking that this is something that it's not. Now you don't owe them anything. That's fucked up. I'm gonna say that goes back to our conversation what I said last time. I like that's mind gotta, game shit. Hmm? That's that mind game shit. Yeah. That's yeah. fucked up. I'm about to say, let it be known if, you know, you got a roster of five and one of them makes the cut, let the other footer know. It's, we can't. If you got a roster, let me know so I can have a roster too. I'm saying. I feel like that's fair. I was speaking more so that that's already. Started. I'm not saying for myself. I'm just speaking like on. Oh, like, if you got a roster. If somebody is hearing know. this and they, yeah. Let, uh, let me know that you have a roster. Yeah, too. like that's, I feel like that's like the fucking proper thing to do when, yeah. Like, yeah, you're not the only one I'm seeing, but. You know, give me that option because like you don't know how lit I can get. He's like, oh, I'm in competition. Ooh, yeah, and then but it's not even that. It's like <laughs> you like the competition part, don't you, bro? No, I'm no dog. I stand, <laughs> fam. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like first of all, like who are you talking to? Compe- you don't like the competitiveness. You, know, you don't like the nah. Jalen, like bitch. You got to you what you think you think this nigga's my competition like that's definitely Jalen. So that's that is me. That's when you show the candle. Yeah, that's that is me. You, yes, and that's when he shows him no, up. Like, yeah. he's no, too good. He don't have to show him. Yeah, facts. That Malcolm has. You it can on go the either nose. way. No, Honestly. no, no. Malcolm has it on the nose. That's Jalen. You don't think, fam? Okay. It, All right. Probably is. If I'm talking to somebody right now, right. you're like, yo, like I'm talking to like other people, and I'm seeing other people. God bless you. Don't hit my phone ever again. Leave me the fuck alone. And I and I'll be dead ass serious with it. Even too. if that's off the rip. bitch, don't ever have the audacity to like think that like you can like ever have me in competition with any of these little niggas. Okay, so all right, that's my like that's where, where, like where my mind goes. Like, don't ever think that that's like that's a, the initial meeting, like letting everything. Yeah, like who, shit. like you got me fucked up. First off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like that's where my mind goes. So it's like, yeah, like don't ever. Yeah, like what Malcolm said, th- these niggas aren't touching me. And then like, c- what happens is, bro, mm-hmm. that'll happen, right? Mm-hmm. And then like five months later, I'll get a text. <laughs> happens all the fucking time. Like, oh, you figured out he wasn't shit. Oh, he was on some wild shit with you. Like, happens mm-hmm. all the time. So it's like. Now it's just some shit to where it's like I. But that could have been avoided I don't even, if you already like if you. Fam, I'm not about to like. Why am I? I was just. I'm just. Yeah, like why am I about to fight for some shit when you're out here getting like creamed by other niggas? Like, who said anything about having? That's sex? My, see my mind. As yeah, men, that's, as that's, men, that's, we go to the worst shit, bro. Yes, <laughs> if you're talking to other niggas and talking to me too, you're letting this nigga do what I do to you. <laughs> 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 that's where my mind goes. <laughs> That's where, that's where my mind goes. Yes, 
if if I am talking to a young lady and me and her have done some discussing things and she says, Jalen, I am talking to other people besides you. My mind goes, okay, you're talking to me and me and you have done this. You said you're talking to him. You and him must be doing this or more. But don't you? This is the situation. Hypothetically, this is all the situation of don't y'all both have a roster? So aren't you doing these same things to her to others? As she is doing to if Bro, fam, if I'm really talking to somebody, like I'm talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not like, like guess, I'm, I'm trying to get to like, no, I'm at the age, bro, where like getting to know people is like lit. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I, or I feel like it can be a lit experience when I finally get that match. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So like, I, I'm really looking for that type of shit. So it's like trying to find that from multiple people can be fucking exhausting. You're right. Very exhausting. So it's like, and I don't mean to say I'm at the age because I feel like everybody looks for that like when they are at serious about something. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever whatever age you're ready at mm-hmm. type shit. So that's just a lot of energy to be fucking wasting, bro. And I and I don't I just don't have an ear me to do that with like multiple people. So it's like That's understandable. Yeah. Like so I would personally take that as like a slap to the face if I was to hear that and like I've invested all this like energy and these feelings and shit and like whole time, like you out here just like popping it, but see how that's switching because that's going into y'all've already like had things going on. I said off the initial meet, like the first link, and y'all let everything be known type shit. That's the difference. Oh, first link, yeah. And like, it's if like y'all like getting to know each other, like not. I've never heard. I've y'all. never. It's never been a. It's never been a conversation like first link. It's like okay, like we're talking, we're getting to know each other as well, not, the talking the first, progresses. <sighs> Okay, that's okay. what I'm saying. That's never been a thing where it's like, oh, first link, maybe oh, like the first right, three. You fuck with maybe first two or three. That's what I'm saying. I've never had that happen, bro. To where it's been like, oh, time out. I've had it happen one time, bro. Like along as time went on, she uh-huh. was like, yeah, like I'm talking to somebody else too. Like she told me, like flat out. But it's like I had to like, damn, I didn't like drag it out of her. She yeah. damn near felt like guilty type shit. Oh, she felt guilty, and she felt like she had to tell me type shit. So it was like one of those. So it's like, I even guess, then, it's like, it's still know. like some weird shit to where it's like, yeah, people will say date around, mm-hmm. but it's like, I feel like once you find that one that's solid where you kind of feel like shit is going steady, mm-hmm. you should try to just focus like on one as like time progresses. You shouldn't try to keep on fucking managing three situations. No, I feel that Because it's just exhausting. For me anyway, some people can do that shit just fine and more power to you. I'm a strong believer in karma. And I don't want to really, really, really find somebody who I really, really fuck with and, and I'm in love with and shit just for some bullshit to happen to me because of my karma. Because I fuck somebody else up. So that's how I try to move, too. I feel that. I feel it. And it, it, it gets tricky. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to make this a fucking relationship podcast. But... <laughs> no, I mean, nigga, we just talking. No, it, it, that gets tricky, though. That do get tricky. Mark, you've been kind of quiet. He's doing his hair. Oh. Yeah, um... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how far are we in, man? Oh, man, bro, we we fifty seven minutes in. Yo, 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 ladies, ladies, it's your host Jay Manley here to talk to you about Shanice Boutique. Y'all should definitely go ahead and check out Shanice Boutique, man. It's a boutique that's on Twitter at shop underscore Shanice, spelled S H E N Y C E, and on Instagram at. Shanice Boutique, again it's spelled S-H-E-N-Y-C-E, and then Boutique after that. They offer a lot of high quality fashion for women, man, so ladies, or fellas too, shit, fellas, you wanna find some nice shit for your girl, man, Shanice Boutique is a place to be, man. Check them out on Twitter and Instagram, shop now. So you wanna talk about our uh, January 6th at the uh, Capitol? <sighs> Got any white people are just like fried, fam. You know? Not all white people. Let me make that clear. But uh, uh, there, there are a lot of white people who are entitled and feel like, I mean, well, shit. I don't even know how to even say this, bro. Because it's like it, they, they did it. I mean, like, granted, there was some force taken, but it wasn't nearly as like bad as you see when we fucking are protesting because a black person got killed by cops. Like, we can protest some injustice death and get beat and maced and stomped out and hit up with fucking rubber billets and shit, but 
these niggas are st- stomping the Capitol, taking pictures like a museum. Bro, they was walking around like <laughs> sightseeing in that bitch. Man, a nigga sparked a joint in the Capitol. Niggas was at Nancy's desk. Shorty stole her uh, computer and only got like a fine, I believe. Somebody stole her computer? Uh-huh. I believe they only gave her like a fine. They did a comparison to somebody else that did something. And the crime was, of course, less severe. And they got hit with harsher time and shit. And, of course, they were a minority. Sheesh. A Negro? Uh, I, I can't. I don't know if they were black or if there was some other, but I know they were a minority. So I'm going to just be safe and say that. Yeah, that, that capital shit was wild, bro. Yeah. That was a wild way to start the year. It's crazy. It's literally history repeating itself. Yeah. And, 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 like, and like, cause I know we've been going for a while. And I did want to talk about that initially when it was happening. Mm-hmm. But as this time has went on, it's just like, it's, it's fucked up because it, it, I know it really made me and a lot of black people feel the way. Like me, like watching that shit live. I was one of those ones where I was trying to joke through it because it was just like unbelievable that. We all had the same. Th- yeah. Like if that was the other way around, it wouldn't. Yeah. Be like it's, a, it's some anger attached to that because it's like y'all got us fucked up at this point. Now it's just like. Y'all just don't give a fuck. I mean, they never gave a fuck. It's yeah, but it's like... More blatant. It's so blatant now, bro. So blatant. And it's like... It, I feel like it's a good thing that Trump is out of office because I feel like him being in office really made it comfortable for a lot of motherfuckers to be open with how racist that they really are. I kind of miss Trump. <clears throat> really? I mean, I kind of... I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Trump helped a lot of people expose themselves, which helped a lot of fuel the fire of the fight, which was going to change things. So, yeah. That was his and I still, like, honestly don't think Trump is necessarily against anybody. I just think that nigga's, like, for himself. And he knows how to rowdy people up. Because I don't think any of the higher-ups really be fun- fucking with Trump, as you can see. Mm-hmm. And they, they got exposed in his last days. And that is... Yeah, they got rid of that nigga quick. <laughs> but that's... That's been evident throughout his entire standing. And, like, I don't understand why they wouldn't fuck with him if he was for them. So, I can't necessarily Is he the first person to get banned off of every social media platform? First person? Yeah. Probably. Every social media platform, Trump is off. He can't use Google, bro. Yeah, like, is that not strange to you? He cannot use Google. Like, why? The largest search engine. (laughs) He cannot use that. How, you, how do you get banned from? Do they just brick your phone? Like, they, just, they, you they, just like, they just like look up uh, what's a Trump internet? Any all right? So get this nigga's jet internet. Get this nigga's uh, all his Trump Tower suite that, bro. internet packages. Get all that shit. All his home internets. Get all them shits and brick all them shits. Can't use nothing. Not even Kindle. <laughs> was it was it Kindle? The Kindle? Kindle? Kindfire? What are they called? Kindle Fire? Yeah, the Kindle Fires. Yeah, you can't use a Kindle Fire in that bitch. Yeah, that nigga can't use shit, bro. Man, Damn, can't so he can't use Amazon Prime? He cannot use anything. That nigga can't How do you get bought off of Amazon Prime? And the PS5 know. and Xbox Series X is out. Nigga, I know. And they got to wait for all his packages. <laughs> nigga, yeah, use alternate <laughs> addresses. He's using Ivanka's uh, account. Ivanka's maiden name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. That's gotta that's gotta be boring, bro. Dog, no, fuck. I mean, shit. Imagine you just wake up one day, bro. You, you open your phone up. The only thing you do is play Temper Run. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got an iPod Touch again. Like that's crazy. <laughs> that's Damn. Crazy. So like, I definitely get that nigga the iPod Touch. <laughs> that's gotta fucking suck, bro. He's no longer. So what now? What happens to this nigga now? He just go back to being. Oh, I think the feds is after him now, bro. The feds are after. Yeah, him? I think. Yeah, I think it's be, yeah. Trump will be. Trump will be put away here soon. You think? I think yeah. so. A lot, a, lot no people, a lot of people are saying he's not going to be touched, but I don't. I, no, I think it's a rare. You think he's no longer useful in the the government scheme with things? He's no not at all. They treat this nigga like Doflamingo. I was just going to say they treat him like Dofi. Because of what he know. Yeah. Oh, you think so? Because what do you know? So this yeah. is a One Piece reference. Yeah, there is a character in One Piece by the name of Double. Yeah, you know that went over my head. So that's why I'm exp- yeah. explaining it to you. This nigga bribed his pretty much bribed his way into 
a hierarchy into a very powerful uh, stage of hierarchy as so far as the government. She code his way through. Yeah. And, like, right now, currently, he's in prison. But they're not really going to get rid of this nigga because of what he knows. He knows way too much. Too he knows way too fucking much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, possibly Trump could be... At, not to say, but, like, Trump could have been on that same wave. And how Mac was saying he want him back just for the simple fact that he's... He was able to expose everything around him as well as himself a little bit, maybe. Of course, so like, there are such things as good villains. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't know, just based off of just what I've been seeing everywhere, I feel like it would make sense for them to try to go after him, but I mean, I, I see your point as well. Mm hmm. Um, and that nigga got yellow hair or red hair. Hey. Trying to think. What else do we have on here to talk about? Um. Ooh, 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 yeah, that that's really how that's really my stance on that whole. I really want to talk about throat baby. That one shit. Oh yeah, let's. let's but y'all don't want to talk about it. No, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. <laughs> well, wait, how do you feel about you know our new president, our first oh. vice, black vice president? Woman. Oh, I guess we, yeah, we can talk about that for sure. Mm, yeah, that was just the six. Now we can talk about the 20th. <laughs> uh, I mean, so, I, mean sure. I don't know how you feel about that, real quick. Let's cut these student loans, man. Let's get these things <laughs> out. Uh, he said, hey, Biden. Yeah. Stimmy with no yeah. Yeah, if we got no a, vacuum. <laughs> yeah, if we got to shut down, let me know. You feel me? No, oh, yeah. Wasn't Buddy trying to get niggas to only get the 1400 if they That was some them. Republican in Ohio. Yeah. I mean, who cares? Who cares? Uh, <laughs> But well, yeah, Biden, man. Yeah, bro. Run these stimmies up. Get these student loans off me. Get these stu- uh, <laughs> Don't pardon Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let Malcolm get that off. I'm just going to let it rock. I'm just going to let it rock. <laughs> Don't um, pardon Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> what else? Shit, we going to see what we going to see. Shit, we, we got to get the next four, four years to see what's up. Yeah, like you said, it's a lesser of two evils, but, you know. Facts. Facts. Um, Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see, like you said. But, nonetheless, you want to talk about Throat Baby, why? Yeah. I just did. It's been stuck in my head all day. And I never heard the full song, but today I read the lyrics because somebody said that they listened to it and realized that why uh, why people could take it as a romantic song. And I was just, I, I read so. the lyrics. I was like, what the fuck? I said, none of this shit is romantic. None of that. None of that. Yeah, yeah, how did somebody get romantic from that? I don't know. But then it was like, it's the way he sings it. And I was like, well, I'm not listening to this. So I can't even relate. I mean, shit. That nigga said, I'm your mama. I'm your daddy. I'm that nigga in the alley. Nigga, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> but don't it sound fire when you hear it? Yeah. It only sound fire because of the Batman tweet. That's hilarious. <laughs> I've been seeing. I haven't listened to the remix yet, but I've been seeing people kill the city girls again, saying they they did another terrible feature. And I'm starting to wonder what like, they do. I guess they're. I guess well, I don't even know if it, was, if it was the full city girls or if it was just JT. But um, I guess people aren't feeling the verse on Throw Baby remix. I haven't heard the whole thing. She said her throat crazy. My thing is like why like I just I just find it funny like when like city girl fans are mad about like lyrical the content. Yeah. yeah. City girl like when did y'all become double XL? <laughs> so city girl fans are mad about the the lyrical content of their of their uh favorite artist? <laughs> Who's looking for city girls for lyrical content? Them apparently. That's gross. <laughs> Imagine like. <laughs> Damn, JC didn't really get in it on this one. Damn, like, like is she known for having bars or something? That's all I'm saying, bro. It's like I'm, I'm dead out. Like, I don't. Know. Is she known? That's all I'm saying. Is like I, I'm, I'm not aware of any bar, you know, heavy JT song, but it's like. It, it's just funny to hear what niggas be mad about, bro. And I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't want to come off disrespectful. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not even trying but, to disrespect. I'm. Definitely. That's just really funny to me, bro. To that is just really funny to me. Like, it just makes me think about how like niggas be trying to argue who's who's the best between Griselda. <laughs> like, well, that's debatable. 
D- but between Griselda and City Girls? No, like no, between between no. the group Griselda, like with them, themselves. <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> like, like I just like I'd be trying to think about like how would how would that be for City Girl fans? Mm. Oh, oh who's, yeah, who's the best, who's the best City Girl? Yeah, like yeah, damn, like but like <laughs> but like this <laughs> this. You want to do that? Let me stop. Let me, this is you want to do, do that? I don't. I don't. I don't, bro. We I can can't pick, even get it out because it's look, just so look, look. I'm with you. stupid. I'm with you. We can pick one. <laughs> it's just so stupid, bro. I tried to make it serious. <laughs> Why did you just say it like that? Phil, because, like, oh, no. Carisha really went crazy on them. <laughs> when she said, she said, Sequarium. Sequarium? I'm never going to get over that bar. She said, Sequarium. Pussy, what is a Sequarium? Apparently, Sequarium is a real place. What is it? In Miami. Like, it's like a aquarium, I think. Oh. But, like, oh, she says so. aquarium, though, bro. And it, like, it just hasn't left my mind since. It's aquarium. This is, like, two years ago when she said this, too. I mean, I can see what she did with that, even if it wasn't a real place. No, no, no. I think aquarium is a real place. This aquarium in, like, Miami is a real place. I, I, I looked it up. Even if it wasn't, I'm saying I could see what she was doing with that. Sea aquarium? Mm-hmm. Sea aquarium, yeah. That ain't it, though. Bro. It didn't. It don't hit how it's supposed yeah, to hit. Yeah, yeah. I see what she's what trying she to do though. That's what I'm saying. She said, "Pussy, what is a aquarium?" I don't see a problem with that. No, That's good information to know. If it's not a real, if it's not a it real hit. word, it's not going to hit, bro. But I mean, that means her pussy's otherworldly. Okay, you just right. y'all y'all you want to stretch that y'all bar, sleep. then do your thing. Y'all sleep. But you know, all right, all right, all right. Don't pick it up then. Yeah, the Miami Aquarium. Don't matter. It's got to be a real place. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they, they open up uh, at 10 a.m. on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to be there? 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I should check and see. We got listeners in Miami? You think she going to be there? Shout out to you. Shout out to Miami. 305. Shout out why'd, y'all, why'd y'all let Dwayne Wade do that on that Rick Ross song? Huh? I never heard that song before. Wait, what's bro, every time I'm playing 2K, bro, it's a fucking stupid ass song with fucking Dwayne Wade and Rick Ross playing, bro. And like, it irritates me so much, bro. And I've Wait, tried to turn verse? it off countless times. Bro, hold you on. You got a verse? We, 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 I remember this being a thing. But we, I don't think we, we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get a plug in uh, so we can start playing music and like have it within the audio so it doesn't sound ghetto. Like, in the morning on the bus. Um, hold up. Let me find this, bro. Just another day in the ghetto. Just another day in the ghetto. I gotta find this shit, bro. Alright, man. Here we go. Here we go. Bro. Right. <laughs> this verse was uh, better than Rick Ross' verse. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I don't know. And see, you know, and like, I don't even want to sound like a hater because people probably say the same shit about me when they hear me rap, but like, I don't care. But like, it just, yeah, it, it just, it just sounded weird. And like, and hearing it over and over again doesn't make me sound like the song more. Got you. You know, like some people like you hear the song over and over again. It's like, okay, I can kind of. Mm-hmm. So like, I, I can't get with but it. Do you know that verse now that you've heard it over and over again? No, it just sounds. It, I just know it as that forced ass Dwayne Wade song that's on 2K. Yeah, um, I see it from the look of like their homies. All right, give them that look. But yeah, I mean, is it doesn't it sound forced? It do. It sounds very amateurish. Very. Amateurish. Like he's reading. That's a, that's yeah. a, the problem I be running into when I be rapping yeah, sometimes. Like I don't, like he's I, definitely reading. Yeah, definitely. And that's why I was like, it sounds very amateurish. Yeah. My fault, y'all. Maybe that's how he talks. How he, uh, that's how Dwayne talk? Oh, no. I'm to say what? <laughs> oh. but, um, I forgot what we were just talking about before we, we got to this. I'm not sure. Because you brought this up for a reason, right? I don't know what, what point I was getting to. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm. I have no idea. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Buy a hoodie. <laughs> buy, buy, buy a hoodie. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fall back. Get stuck. Get promoting the merch. Buy a fucking buy a hoodie. Yo, the brother guys pie dot my shop. Oh, excuse me, the brother guys pie dot my shopify dot com. Podcast hoodies and stickers available now. Hey, bro, the camera's not on. I'm just training. I'm training, <laughs> I'm training myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, that's probably the best answer. No, I, I know, I'm being dead ass serious. I know, too. Yeah. That's why I'm like, hey, you can. <laughs> like, it's funny, but. It's funny, it's, but I'm trying to. Yeah. You're right. I get, you know like what? You got it. You got it. Well, that's funny. Trying to get used to doing that, so yeah, I'm not. Right. You know what's wild, bro? We can kind of, I guess this is when we kind of like wind down <laughs> and talk about some real shit that's not topic based. Uh, but it's just something that like strikes me as like some shit to where it's just like I'm glad that like I was able to get over it. So, um, you know, like when I'm talking to people and they'll come out and be like, yo, like they'll ask me about like how to like get like what I need to, you know, start a podcast and this and that. Or they'll say like, oh, like, well, I want to do a podcast, but I'm just like nervous to speak in front of a microphone. Or you can tell how energy changes with some, certain motherfuckers. You being asked that a lot lately? Yes. Yeah, me too. Right. Like, and, but I'm pretty sure anybody, everybody in this room can attest you to- You too, Malcolm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody in this room can attest to like having somebody come on. The podcast mm-hmm. and all that confidence just is all gone. Have we had people like that? Like that have came on and kind of yeah, like we're to where like yeah, like they're not as talkative on the mic. Got you. Versus Got you, you know them. Outside yeah, of that. Yes. yeah, yes, yeah, okay. and that's always been something to me to where it's just like, and I guess I've kind of just like have. In a weird way, train myself to think like this, but like I don't give a fuck about the mics, bro. As long as they picking me up and how I'm supposed to sound, like yeah, the fact that they're there is not gonna, it's not like, gonna, yeah, dictate whether how much you speak or not. Facts about you, facts. But like people get um, for just from me being a nigga who do videos forever, that's bro. It's that the happens worst. with videos too. It's don't the worst it. when the camera come out and niggas like freeze up. I'm like, hey, just do what was just happening. That was what I wanted to make a video of. Everything yeah. that was just happening. Like, yeah. there's nothing special that needs to be happening now because the camera's out. Like, yeah. just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> like, and on, Nick, bro, niggas be like really nervous about that shit. Yeah. And like, that's something that like I really, I just had to start sit back and just like watching certain shit, bro, and watching people's behaviors and it's like, oh, you don't, you feel like this is the real you and you're still not comfortable with everybody seeing the real you. Or hearing the real you. Do you ever, um, like a certain artist or a certain person, you ever watch their interviews throughout years and not study with their content, what they're talking about, but study their mannerisms throughout the years? Like in, in interviews or? Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. for sure. Like, I'm trying to think of it. You know the name drop? We're kind of big time now. We're kind of big time. Yeah, right. not the name drop anymore. Okay, no more name dropping yeah. for now. But, um,. Okay, so yeah, just like certain are like when they're like let's just take their early years, you can tell they're a little more timid, a little more not necessarily evasive of questions, but like they're more so just like they just keep everything short, simple, sweet, timid. And as they get as progression goes in their career or whatever, they become more comfortable, more relaxed. Mm-hmm. This shit like you said, the shit don't even matter no more. They just literally being them. They're not necessarily I guess you could say media trained. There's quotations around that. So yeah, that's a I feel like that's a you. Are you saying you're more so like trained, not necessarily trained, but to the point where like I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, like it just doesn't. Yeah, make that's sense. just what it is with me. I just don't give a fuck. It's and, not but there. Right. it's like a lot of people. Are you saying you've always been like this? Is that what you're saying? Or... It, bro, I didn't get like this until like 2018, bro. Okay, like when we came back, bro. Yes, but, but I'd already been podcasting for a little bit though. Right. So when the brother guys, yeah, came about, like I was already like I, I know I kind of have an idea what to do now. Okay. I'm not okay. perfect, but it's like I I know where I'm headed. Type that's, shit. That's that's prime example. More yeah. confidence. You already been as you kept going. You came more. And I I had you. dealt with people like who weren't like I was ready to be fully honest on mic, but people were still trying to pull up facades. Got you. So, so it like, kind of made you uncomfortable a little bit. Not even made me you. uncomfortable. It made me. It wasn't able to be a fucking enjoyable listening experience mm-hmm. because you could tell. The yeah. Difference. In yeah. Life. Yeah. That could definitely be bothersome. That can definitely be bothersome. Because it's kind of like y'all on two different accords. Facts. In a sense. Facts. Y'all might have the same goal, you're just in two different accords. Oh, fuck, man. That goes into the hero villain shit. Bro, you know what I just thought about? <laughs> what? What? A whole lot of red just dropped too, bro. Man, nobody cares. No, like, no, I I need to say something, well, bro. Well, go ahead, get your shit off, bro. Yeah, you... I gotta, yeah, I gotta say something, bro. I can't just not say anything. You definitely could. Well, no, no. <laughs> you 
Definitely yeah, could. Bro. We was doing you so can't good. Can't be somebody who hypes some shit up and then go silent yes. when the track, the shit comes out and it's not what you wanted to be. You can't when your people's been telling you the whole time you're wrong. Okay, well let me break this down then. <laughs> go right? ahead, go ahead. So I got in the Playboy Cardi. I heard Magnolia. Then I went and did my research, and I'm like, okay, I fuck with it. I, I, I fuck with it. Um, because at, at the time when he came out. Like, it was, like, some, like, melodic trap shit, and it wasn't, to me, it wasn't trash. Dialect came out, and I fucking kind of expanded on the tr- on the sound that he was doing. Don't know the story behind a whole lot of red. It's been pushed back so many fucking times. Um, there's been so many leaks that have dropped from being worked on for this album. Uh, it... Came out during Christmas, so this is after we, you know, take the break and shit. After we already do episode 100, um, and I'm listening to this on Christmas Day. I'm like, you know what? That's how you spent your Christmas. Let me just, well, not Christmas. Well, it came out midnight on Christmas. <laughs> That's how you spent so, your Christmas? <laughs> going into Christmas, yes, I was in my car indulging in adult activities in that adult I don't speak activity. on the podcast, <laughs> and. uh Listening to play with Cardi, but like it just it wasn't hidden, and now I try to play it back again. Like days later, still wasn't hidden. Mm-hmm. Try to play it on the ride up to Indianapolis for New Year's, still wasn't hidden. It. And I'm just thinking in my head the whole time is just like, because that shit trash, bro. Dog, it, no, but what what pissed me off about it is the fact that like a lot of the leaks that dropped, bro, were way better than what was on the album, bro. Well, I guess he's the kind of artist that doesn't drop leaks once they leak. There are still artists that do that. If the shit leaks, if the shit leaks, they Dog, don't drop it. You got to embrace what the fans fuck with, bro. At a certain point, Dang. you can't get mad because we didn't heard it. And we, how are you mad because we heard the shit and love it? Put it on, like clear the samples, put it on streaming services, uh, get paid. I'm about to say, uh, when it leaks, it makes it harder to get paid. When shit leaks, it makes it hard for anybody involved to get paid, and that's from. If you drop a remat, because you got to think a lot of these leaks are like choppy studio, like somebody's should be re- in his, somebody's in their studio recording Sneak some recording. shit they shouldn't re record. Yeah. 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 I'm about to say, if any, like, even if it's hot, they have high quality shit getting leaked now at this point. Like, it's literally songs that sound like, like literally songs being made, bounced to sound like they're just being mm. sent out type shit. Like, once they leak, that fucks up all the business business side of songs. That's why artists used to get so shit. That's why they still get shitty. When niggas just be leaking their shit. Because it's, ain't no telling what them songs are made for. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling when them How does it make it harder for them to get paid if they fucking put it out How's on it streaming harder? services and shit? And uh, Well, that situation will vary. Like, let's say... He kind of steps on the rollout of it. Yeah, one for one. He says he's so big of an artist over to where a rollout don't really matter for him. If he, Playboy if he, Cardi? yes, bro. His shit went number, even though it's trash, his shit went number one. So people are aware of who the fuck Playboy Cardi is. He's of status to where he can drop. Hey, yo, remember all the leaks that y'all niggas loved? Here you go. And the shit will go up. It will go up. It would. Not to say, not to say it wouldn't. He probably does have a cult fan base. Hey, bro, ain't no probably fan. That shit, that shit went number one. It shouldn't have went number one, but it went number one. I didn't bro. even know it went number one. Yeah. Bro, everything be going number one. I don't understand that. I'm still trying to figure it's that out. It's kind of... It, that it, algorithm is wild. Yeah. I, I don't want to talk on that right now, but... Yeah. Um, How the fuck everything going number one? But I, well, I mean, I'm just saying that still speaks to some shit, though, bro. Because it's like... People fuck with it. That doesn't necessarily mean that I like it, but like people fuck with it. That's just going back to my point though. We're saying that he could definitely drop those leaks, like on some Drake Dark Lane demo tape shit. He could drop that shit, and it would sell. People will, people will be interested, especially if it's the leaks that like the shit with him and Nudie, the Pissy Pamper Kid Cudi shit. Mm-hmm. Pissy Pamper. It's called yeah. The song is called Pissy Pamper. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't but, know either. Yeah. It would, it would go up. So that's my that's my final say on it though. Uh, Whole lot of, <clears throat> excuse me. Whole lot of red is not a good album to me. I don't like it. Um. Yeah. Hopefully the deluxe has some of the leaks that we actually like wanted on the real album, not this shit. <laughs> and I, but I am shitty though because I do like that one song with him and Kid Cudi where Cudi's humming. I think it's called. It's on Whole Lot of Red. Yeah, it's, I think it might be called Metamorphosis. Oh, plus a leak can make or break a song. Like, let's say 
a leak drops and like a nigga like bro, ain't dealt with the song, no, bro. Like you he know had a lot of leaks that were hard. I, like that's what I'm saying. I don't think like it, it. It just it makes it look so much more worse on the what actually came out versus because the leaks were really 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 good, bro. Like and some artists they feel like they're they would be cheating their fans. So now we just so what like I feel what all it, the fire bro. that you have though, nigga. The niggas have heard though, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like especially when it's like, bro, he did he performed one of the he performed the song with him and Nudie at a room before she got shut down. Yeah. He performed that Pissy Pimper song at Rolling Loud. Mm. So and he, the crowd went crazy. So he's the kind of artist that, like, perform unreleased songs and shit like that? Like, because, like, yeah, because it's like, it's, yeah. Because, yeah, basically. And it was so much fucking hype around the album. Mm-hmm. So it was like anything he would have did to, like, tease the album and shit. Niggas was going up for Yeah. Uh, but the, but the, the, the quality of the music was good, though. <clears throat> All right, well... So yeah, that's that's my take on the Cuddy shit. I know there was a few people who know that I fuck with Cuddy who've been Cardi. I said Cuddy. Yeah, Cardi. Excuse me. That's, that's my take on the Cardi shit. <laughs> Cuddy did drop an album though. We we talked about that though here. We did. Okay, he did drop one. Um, have y'all listened to it since? I have not. Not gonna lie to you. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. <clears throat> me too. <clears throat> I've had that Conway uh, deluxe songs like rotation heavily the extra six did songs you hear that? did you hear that new Joy mm-hmm. Badass record that came out I need to listen to it I need to listen to it it's, it. listen to it. it's yeah. actually really good I've heard like snippets of it I didn't haven't had a chance to sit down like really like I think honestly now I'm thinking about it I think it may have came on when I was asleep with my TV on on YouTube okay. as an ad that nigga can rap y'all like the art of rapping that nigga is definitely he's got it down packed <laughs> yeah, yeah got that shit down packed it's hard I'm glad. I'm glad he came back with that with that swag. I don't know if that's like a single for anything he may be coming with, yeah. but but I fuck with I fuck with what he gave us. I He's actually a part of it. Oh, is it like 1999 swag? Like like summer night swag? It's like it's like mm-hmm. that next level type shit. Oh, oh really? it's like it's yeah. matured. Yeah, it's matured. It's matured like a motherfucker. Really? It's matured. Yeah, you can tell he's coming. Like he, this is Joey the man. Like we all grew up with Joey the teenager early. Yeah. Nick, this is. Like okay. Man. Okay. Yeah, I might have to peep that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I might have to peep that for sure. Um, I well, he's he... in that movie. He's in a movie that's supposed to be uh, coming out here. Joseph Badmont. Yeah, it's um, it's ah, shit. It's basically I seen a trailer for it. I seen a trailer for it. It's um about basically how he he repeats the day. And every time he steps outside, apparently there's like a, a racist cop or whatever out there, and each situation varies or whatever, and I can, he has to repeat the situation until he gets it right. He's just literally trying to. It happens like he goes home with a shorty, mm-hmm. he wakes up the next morning, you know, they say their goodbyes, and every time he steps out the door, some shit happens. Damn. So it just keeps repeating, keeps repeating, keeps repeating. So he and he's in a time loop type shit. At least that's what the trailer gave off. That's all the trailer gave off. So. I can't remember the name of the fucking movie. <clears throat> but. Did anybody see the trailer for the new Denzel joint? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Denzel got a movie coming out? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, it's called The Little Things. I think it's coming out on the 29th. I was going to say the 29th, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I'm at the P. He got a new movie coming out. His son got a movie coming out, too, with Zendaya. <laughs> yes, they yeah. do. Malcolm and Marie shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. What is that about? I bro, I don't know. I didn't. I, I couldn't no really clue. gain what that was about from the trailer. For real, <laughs> just, I just seen that nigga that was horny. That's all I saw. <laughs> it seemed like a movie that was about based on relationships. It that nigga like was a, horny, bro. It had a relationship fact that he, he was horny, bro. That nigga wanted her bad, bro. It's cool, but it, it be like that though. <laughs> I was like, "What you look? I mean, hey, it be like, like, like damn, like, like you really want this? Really, like, like shit? I, I want you, <laughs> Malcolm and Marie. Is that what it is?" Something like that. I think that comes out soon too. Malcolm and Marie. But yeah, I mean, I like movies with uh, when the trailer doesn't tell you much. I like trailers like that because then, like, it, you know, it'll let you know what you're getting into, mm-hmm. but you won't know what the movie's oh, about. Wow! So this announcement. There's no sort of, sort of spoiler. Yeah, like it says, a filmmaker and his girlfriend discuss their past relationships while coming home from a movie premiere. And that's where the movie like, I like that. is based off of. I like that. Already. I like that it's black and white. Mm-hmm. That shit tight. It kind of reminds me of uh, Father and Do Death. Do you really want to know about past relationships? That's what the movie's about to be about. Yeah. I'm asking us that as a. Oh, yeah. do we want to know? It helps yeah. you understand your partner. It under- yeah, it helps you understand your partner. 
you, how you deal with pe- your significant others, you know, it, it helps you understand a lot. Yeah, shit they've been through lets you know, mm-hmm. like, how they may react in certain situations. Exactly. Triggers. Things to let you know, like, things that they don't like, things that, yeah, all that. This is helping you become, find yourself, maybe, because that, that's not more than loving the person. You're studying a person. You're getting to know this person. And that is needed to study. You feel me? Like, yeah. that is literally needed. So, yeah. We do need to know. And, and whether, I know it's sometimes hard to go in closets and clean that shit out, but it's got to happen. Cause that, that'd be my issue. I'd be, I'd be having a hard time going in the closets because it's like... Cleaning out all the old, like, the bones. Look where you're at. Not, <laughs> not where you've been. Not where you've been. Hmm? It's you okay look, to... Look where you're at, not where you've been. It's okay to like... Be proud of where you've you come mean? from. Yeah, like, like, don't be mad at like what happened. Not to, not yeah. You can't not acknowledge where you come from, but you have to acknowledge like where for me, you bro. Come I feel from. like if I harp on the shit that I've been through, bro. Mm-hmm. But which, discussing and harping on is different things. There you go. That's another thing. Yeah. You can talk about what you've been through without harping on it and like letting it consume you and affect how you are. See, that's because the thing. harping is like, the action. All right, so let me say this yeah. then. Let me say this then. Like for me personally, with dating. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, I don't have an issue with talking about shit that I've been through so people can understand why I think the way I think and why I move the way I move. Mm-hmm. But, like, also, there's a certain point to where it's like, I know that, like, having trust issues with every motherfucker is not healthy. So that shouldn't be an excuse because, oh, I've been through this, so I'm going to not trust every motherfucker I've run into. That's not healthy. No, it's not. You're right. So it's like, at what point do people... Be on some like, oh, this response to this shit is not healthy. Let me work on changing some shit. If y'all see where I'm trying to go. So where did they look? Not, not, and, and this is just me using like me, but like in different situations and aspects. So you're asking when does when someone... is some shit to where is some shit that is hindering them from being in relationships? Like, let's say that like I really took, I really held on to them trust issues. And I just didn't, like, date at all. Mm-hmm. Didn't text anybody, none of that shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I would be in this motherfucker like Scrooge. Yeah, yeah, but I think what you're saying is completely different from discussing past relationships. How so? Because, like, not dating somebody because of having trust issues is different from dating somebody. What I'm saying, like, I passion. wouldn't, like... Okay, so... I brought that up because I'm saying as far as like I have to discuss it. You don't so think you can talk about something even, without it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't want to even talk about it if I was really, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if you're really healed from it, then you can you talk, have perfectly fine to talk, to talk about, about it. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say because what I'm, just, you did, I'm, playing, I'm trying to play devil's advocate right now. So I'm saying like if I was somebody who was like, I really let that shit affect me like moving forward type shit. Right? Well, I'm, I'm saying... That that means that person's not really healed. They probably shouldn't be in a yeah, relationship anyway. Got you. Yeah. Got they shouldn't you. even be okay. at that point. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Okay. And I feel like I'm not explaining this well. I think I, I see what you're saying. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, we're getting what you're also saying. Also, in the. <clears throat> shit. I'm about to say, <clears throat> you need some water. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of came back on fire a little bit. Well, no, nah, that was good. I'm about to say, but that was okay. what I was going to say. So, but, oh, you about to say something? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So, what I was saying was, there's, um, in the sense of discussing it, like the benefits from that Mm. would be, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give like a situation, like hypothetical situation or whatever. So, say, yeah, because this is something I feel like we talked about on podcast before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say you have dealt with a shorty and she done hit you with the, oh, um, you ain't got to worry about that nigga type of situation. And come to find out, you have to worry about the nigga. So, in the future, when you're dealing with somebody else, and then there is a situation where you feel like there may be somebody you have to worry about communicating that with your, the person that you're dealing with so that they can know how to maneuver when it comes to that, just to, um, to kind of meet you in the middle of what you've been through versus you trying to accept that that's not what it is this time. Yeah. Like, there's the, that's where you meet them in that, uh, that, that middle area. Okay. On discussing it, and that's where like things can be a bit. See, like okay, so like with some shit like that, yes, that is important to talk about because it is. But I guess just going back to what you said, how they shouldn't meet in a relationship when it's people who are like will like beat some shit in the ground. It's like it's like well, then why are you here then? Yeah, that's the case. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But it's like mm. you can't do that though because it's like you're trying to not leave somebody fucking like hanging or leave them like hanging to dry. I realize that all that leaving somebody hanging shit is just is what it is. It like is. it is what it is. Like if a motherfucker ain't ready to if a motherfucker's not ready to listen or something, mm-hmm. or like or if somebody's really stuck somewhere and you're not stuck there, mm-hmm. you only hurting yourself by leaving. You don't really own shit at a certain point. At a certain point. Not you don't owe him shit. It's just like you owe yourself more. Facts. In a sense, you. I'm not gonna say you 100 percent wrong, but he's. I feel, yeah, yeah, I feel Malcolm was saying for yeah. sure. Yeah. But yeah. look at us, man, talking that shit. It goes to some a, gunshots, <laughs> man. Yeah, it gets to a point for sure. But I was gonna say back to what you were saying about. I was gonna say pretty much your action was harping on the situations when we was talking. Bro, about okay, that. so let me just break this down real quick. So, uh, in hell, okay, so like during like all of like last year when I would try to date, and then like that kind of got like got killed for obvious reasons at a certain point because of what people thought they knew. Mm-hmm. Um. That trained me to take a lot of shit for, like, face value and just, like, adapt to, like, not dating. So, like, now that, like, that's not something that is in my, like, back of my mind anymore. Like, I can really be, like, free with everything I do and not have to worry about some bullshit on the internet. Um, It's kind of, like, weird. In a sense. That you are past that, I guess you could say now. My fault, bro. I just got a stupid ass text message. Uh, All right. <laughs> what were we talking about? What's weird? Yeah, like, what is it? What is Okay, weird? so, like, I just, I, like, I feel weird with, like, I guess, like, being on the scene. Mm. Getting back. Kind of, like, uncomfortable, almost, kind of. You're just socially awkward as far as being back on the scene. Yeah, I think, didn't I say that? Or was it on the take that we didn't get? There might have been on the take we didn't get. Okay, yes. Yes, there's a lot of times where I do feel like very fucking socially awkward. Gotcha. Like badly. And I don't know, I don't know if that's, uh, anxiety Mm -hmm. or what that is kicking in, but it's like, I just, all of a sudden, I just do not feel current. Like, bro, we were at that Southside event. Right. And the event, like, I was able to be there until the event was dope Mm -hmm. and it was a good time. But as far as like me being my normal self, mm-hmm. I wasn't able to enjoy how like I remember enjoying events. Got you. Got you. And you know that that could probably go to, you know, the the fact that I was uh, that's my first time there. You know, we're still in a new city and shit. Like, so it's like a lot, a lot of shit. I just you feel me? It just comes yeah, with coming with being way. aware and being comfortable if, if, in, in like where you're at. Yeah, I'm about to say you was usually. Typical P's and Q's, but you just felt more accelerated in that situation. Yeah. It was yeah. more factors playing into it. Yeah, for sure. But, like, with the dating shit, I know, like, with me, like, it just, it, it took a while to get comfortable and get used to, like, shit as far as, like... Prior so to you, the situation. So yeah. You know how it's going. Yeah. Okay, so wait, let me ask you a question. So Like, I've, like I've, I've dated off of... I've, I've dated off of that situation being active and off of... Where I'm at now. Got you. Okay. Okay. And so you now you're getting back into it. You know? Yeah. Now, like, yeah, since, like, so. yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Like, I be forgetting I don't have to move a certain way no more. Just a little rusty in the game. I mean, not even rusty. It's just I don't have to. I don't have to move a certain way anymore. Oh, you just don't. Have to, well, yeah. If y'all are catching what I'm saying, well, yeah, still. yeah. Mm-hmm. You got institutionalized. Basically, like on some on some some real shit. Yeah. Yeah. Still killing. But yeah, um, do we have anything else to touch on? How, how far are we in? Oh uh, man, we an hour and forty. Yeah, you know. Yeah, hey, I, I said I want to get these things three hour pod. Yeah. I don't. What else? What else? Yeah, what else I mean, like, <laughs> I feel like we could have gave it to him. We kind of lost the momentum a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah with all them takes. Trying to record all the takes. Yeah. yeah, we could have damn near had a three hour, but yeah, we had to get everything right for y'all. So we still got the interview on here though. Facts, facts. Oh, facts. We, we do. The wonderful interview with uh, Mr. Curtis Collins. 
sure. Shout out to shout out to the homie. I followed that uh that fan football league. Mm-hmm. I forget the name of the actual official league, but um, fan club football. Fan club football. Um, yeah, I follow them on Instagram. So I'm looking forward to when the game starts. I'm gonna be watching that shit. Mm-hmm. It seems it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna tune in. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Pretty Definitely cool. make sure y'all stick around for that interview. I think that's the league I can support. You know, type Definitely. shit. Yeah. Definitely. That's why I thought it'd be interesting to check out. What is wrong with my voice? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Backwoods. Ooh. Ooh, we Backwoods. Got... Hey, 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 hey! I understand. It's a, it's a, it's a habit. It's a horrible addiction. Hey, man. Horrible addiction. I think it might roll me up one. I don't know. <coughs> um, Cabernet Chaperon. Is that what that was? It's yeah. a Cabernet Sapping now in the Cabernet Chaperon. That's a Cabernet Stoyakovich. That's how you say it. <laughs> Stoyakovich. Cabernet Stoyakovich. You saying it in Swedish. I'm saying it in English. Oh um, shit, man! I wonder Whoa. what that means in English. What? No idea. Cabernet Sauvignon. No fucking idea. Oh man, I don't have anything else to touch on, bro. No, I don't. I, I don't really wish that. I would have gave y'all three hours of podding, but I got a Lori Harvey theory. Uh oh. We did not talk about Lori Harvey. Let's Ooh. go. Hit the hold up, man. See what am I doing? What? A, what? Uh, bomb. Another one. And some gunshots. Okay. Yeah. All right, so why, why are so, we talking about Lori Harvey? I'm sure that is the made you to do the soundboard. Yeah, like the sequence like that. Like, Gunshots. <laughs> bah. Make it sound like a dictator <laughs> by myself. <laughs> that nigga said, "Soldier, fire." <laughs> hold it, hold it. All right, so, look at that. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, all right. Why would we giving her bombs and gunshots? Film, nigga, she is killing this shit, bro. What is she doing? She's living bro, life. Film, if this, bro, let's just think about it, bro. Mm-hmm. If this was a man who was going around slutting out the finest women in the game, right? And not calling these niggas fine. I'm just trying to do like a I parallel. I, I yeah, because you know, some niggas trying to twist your words and shit. Man, fuck them. I get yeah. it. I get you. That's what I heard. Pause. Since yeah. niggas gonna be funny, fuck you, Malcolm. I told you I'm like the shade room now. Yeah, you're horrible. Oh, that's your girl in the pod now, the shade room nigga. Bro, that's gross. I really hate the shade room. So like, <laughs> me too. That's gross. Um, but yeah, pretty much this was a nigga who uh was out here just like slaying all the finest, beautiful black women. We already had a few of them. I'm saying, like, bro, like, no, he's like, bro, nigga, she's like, da 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 like, in a row, nigga, like, <laughs> Little Wayne. Who, Corinne Stephens? I'm talking, bro, I'm talking about if there was a nigga. Or in London. No, bro, he that did not, he didn't do a back to back to back, like, she's so doing, you're talking bro. about, she's going on a consecutive just Yes, just, yes, just bro, we ain't, the there's just... nobody, there's, bro, no nigga has done this, bro. Which is why I think she's getting a lot of flack from niggas on the internet because niggas is low key hating on some gay shit. Pause. What the fuck? Oh, so this is the thing? Because I think niggas is haters, bro. Niggas is hating on Shorty for. Like, bro, it's like, man, niggas on the internet would think pieces about how they she's a whore. Her, right? no, and that they thing. wouldn't date her. Nigga, you can't. You, you wouldn't. You can't. <laughs> Nigga, you can't. There's a difference between, like, not being able to and not wanting to. <laughs> that opportunity does not even exist, bro. Trust me. Like, cut it out. You can still state what you wouldn't do, even if the opportunity wouldn't exist. Oh, my bro. goodness. Niggas be dusty, Nigga, bro. you couldn't if you wanted. Niggas be dusty, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, Ooh, let's just... shit. Let's just get that out there. But nah, for real, bro, like, I, I applaud Lori Harvey. I mean, okay, well... Oh, fuck it, bro. I swear to God, bro, these dogs can shut the fuck Bro, I hate living next to this dog park, bro. Worst shit ever. Oh, close the, close the door. The door's open. Yeah, close the door. Close that door. Close that door. Let me close the door. Oh no, you gotta stand yeah. up. All right, yeah, we can just wrap this shit up. Uh, shout out to Lori Harvey, <laughs> I didn't even man. Do my take. Oh, give me your take. I brought the shit up. Give me take. I had a hot take. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So nobody knows what be going on in their relationships, right? They don't. What if Lori Harvey is just like one of the smart ones and she actually just leaves and gets a better nigga when she gets cheated on? Ooh. 
Like, what if she's not out here slutting out, running through niggas? What if she's like giving niggas an honest chance and getting say, fucked over? And like, well, you you got you fucked you, you missed your only chance. So I'm on to the next. Do y'all think that that they're the ones fuck, uh, fucking over, or you think she's getting tired of them? I think she's on some player shit. That's what I'm saying. We I don't, we say, don't know. That yeah, what he's that saying. that is always the assumed narrative that she's on some player shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying. What, what if, if that's not the case? What if I'm saying, I don't, I don't think niggas chance. are hurting her, though. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to give any nigga the power. But, the but them niggas are dumb, though. It's, it's not giving them the power. They fucking up their chance. Okay. And she moving on to the next nigga like, who was in her DMs. Like, what if she's literally just dating? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's literally just living. She's just dating. Like, what's, what if she's just doing that? Why does she have I think to what, it, what gets people so geeked up about this, though, is that mm-hmm. she's just dating but she's posting her shit on social media to where it's like, you know, in dating with us, and me to talk about this too, there is a big thing with dating in our generation. Mm-hmm. Like me personally, bro, like next relationship I'm in, bro, I am not posting that woman online until like I am like engaged. You're not going to wait till y'all say I do. <laughs> even then, bro, yeah. And even then, bro, like the engagement is really risky too. I didn't really got to say I do because I've been engaged before. I was just going to say, yeah. that's why I asked that. Yeah, so it's like... Do you tell people that? I do. That you date? That I date? That you've been engaged before? Yes. Gotcha. Bro, and they're always like blown back and they think that it's like something like, no, it's not anything serious. Nobody say like, no. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> they're always like, oh, oh, so she's the one? Like, <laughs> yeah, it'd be it. That's I've had it happen though, bro. And it's like, <laughs> if only you knew. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, no. But, yeah, I do tell people that. Okay. Um, but I, I don't know, fam. I, like, me personally, bro, like, with this Lori Harvey shit, mm-hmm. I just think that she, well, let me get back to that first. With the whole dating shit, yes, I don't, like, I don't believe in, like, really, like, now, I don't believe in posting shit, because, like, you never know when that shit can go wrong, as fucked up as that sounds to say. It's just a post. Like, shit just really be happening. Yeah. Like, it is just a post, but people remember shit. People talk about shit in their group chats. Why does that matter? That's what I was like. I mean, it's just it shouldn't place. matter, but it's like people put stock in this. But thing. people, but people be in your business though. Because people be like, "Oh, I just got a new job back here." You never know when you might get fired. Same mm-hmm. shit. That shit just as important. Valid points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, I just got a new car. That shit might break down tomorrow. Like, come on now. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like being looked looked at like stupid, especially. Man, I'm not letting go there. That's a whole different bag. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. 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 Week, I'll right? just say that for next week. Ooh. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear the the uh the momentum build up yeah, my voice when I ready. Yeah. Let me just <laughs> say that for next week. We ain't gonna go all the way there. Um oh, man. It was great. Did you have any more points to touch on with the Lori Harvey shit? No, nah, that's pretty much it. I just <clears throat> I just had never seen that um that side presented and I was like, hmm, I wonder why everyone's always like it's just assuming that the negative. She's like, yeah. yeah like, she's it's something negative, like, nigga. Come on now. You know the way it is. Charles, do you have anything to touch on with Lori Harvey? No. That's what I said. She just living? That's why I was confused why we talking about her. I was like, I mean, she's okay. just living? Alright. Alright. Let her do her thing. Shit. Are y'all excited for Godzilla versus King Kong? Mm, yeah. Kind of, sort of. But I've never, I haven't seen Godzilla or King Kong. I will you say, no. Uh, not the not the ones not this universe. Uh-huh. All right, I will say I've seen. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember, like back in like oh five to the two thousand and six. Yeah, uh, there was a King Kong movie that came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it came out, with, and the game came out on Xbox three hundred and sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody said that movie was pretty bad, but I didn't think it was bad. I fucked with it. That was one of the first movies that ever used the eight K camera. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yes. Yeah. Really? I remember that time because yes. uh, my uh, godbrother had the DVD and I used to like watch the behind the scenes on all the DVDs and stuff. And yeah. I was watching that. They were, they were talking about all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Sony. But yeah, so I don't know. I'm kind of on King Kong's side. And I seen the trailer. King Kong was beating his ass. What? And then Godzilla? Yeah, he was beating Doug. All Godzilla had was a little weak ass little beam from his mouth. It really, never mind. I'm not going to say what it looked was like. Was any a dinosaur? Look at alien dinosaur. Alien dinosaur. So he got powers and shit. Okay. But like King Kong didn't give a fuck though. I think it was. A dragon. I didn't know what it was, bro. He's a dragon for real. I don't know. I don't no. know. He might be a lizard. He's Godzilla. That's what I'm saying. A lizard. A scalp is dry as fuck. Taking his braids off. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he tried to shoot some beam from his mouth, but King Kong packed that shit and shoved it back down his throat. 
Pause. Damn. All right, uh, let's go ahead and give him a few of these <laughs> socials. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, three T rows with three O's. Uh, Malcolm is important, you know. Uh, go follow. I mean, subscribe to the YouTube. Give off good vibes. And you can follow me at McFly Mail on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow the podcast page on Twitter at the Brother Guys. Follow us on Instagram at the Brother Guys Podcast. Uh, Facebook the Brother Guys Podcast. Um, what else? Shopify, the brother guys dot my Shopify dot com for merch. Grab your one hundredth episode hoodie today. Mm-hmm. Um, Get some stickers as well. Yeah, cop some stickers. Yeah. Um, what else? If you already ordered a hoodie, your shit should be at your crib by February second. If you already ordered last week, uh, orders are still being processed as well. So just please be patient with us. We will be posting updates on the podcast Twitter page. So be on the lookout for those with, as far as shipping out of the product. Turn the notifications on. Do what you got to do. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, enjoy this interview <laughs> coming up. For sure. And uh, we'll see you guys next Monday. It feels good to be back. It does. So we out. Peace.